The three things I'd most like readers to take away from Reset Your Child's Brain are the following. The first is that every time a child picks up an electronic screen device, whether it's a video game, the iPad, a smartphone, the brain gets bombarded by a naturally high levels of stimulation. So the brain goes on high alert, it goes into a state of acute stress or fight or flight, and all sorts of physiological reactions happen. And this happens day in and day out repeatedly. The brain goes into a state of chronic stress and that's where brain function really starts to break down. So electronics really can affect everything. It can affect how a child feels, how they function in school, how they interact with their friends, how well they sleep, and it even can affect what kind of treatments they receive, including what medication they might receive. The second thing I'd like readers to take home is that you can actually reset the brain by methodically restricting electronics. So if you remove all interactive screen devices for three to four weeks, you can actually reset the brain. So you resynchronize the body clock, um, hormones and brain chemistry get rebalanced, the child sleeps more deeply and feels much better, behaves better, everything. So while we tend to underestimate the effects of electronics, we also tend to underestimate the power of removing electronics. The third thing I'd like readers to take home is that when I talk to parents about doing this, virtually every parent feels like it's going to be too hard. It's too inconvenient. They're going to feel guilty. They're worried about how the child is going to react. But when every, um, but every parent ends up feeling like it was much easier than they thought it was going to be. So when you have, um, so when you think about the electronic fast, if you view it as an experiment, then it's only for four weeks, then it becomes much easier and not as overwhelming to contemplate. So I always tell parents that they have nothing to lose and a lot to gain.